morning, Heritage of Faith family. This is Ashley, and I just had a few things to encourage us with as we go through first things first. Um, the scripture that came to my heart is actually a scripture that the Lord has been talking to me uh, uh, through personally. And it's Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6. And it says, trust in the Lord completely and do not rely on your own opinions. With all your heart, rely on him to guide you and he will lead you in every decision you make. Become intimate with him in whatever you do, and he will lead you wherever you go. Um, I just think about, you know, first things first, right? We're doing first things first, and, you know, we're waking up in the morning, we're spending that our time with him, um, which is precious, because I believe that, you know, the first thing you do in the morning, I feel like that sets the tone for the rest of the day. So I think that's very, very important. And it's also honoring him because, you know, we're putting aside, okay, we know, you know, today might be a busy day, but I'm putting that aside right now. Lord, I'm gonna I'm a seek you. I'm, I'm a, I wanna hear from you. Cause he always, he's always speaking to us. He always has something to say to us, but we have to be in a position to hear, right? Um, but also with that, I just feel like we seek him in the morning, yes. But it's just like, what about the rest of the day? Um, are we aware of him, you know, and everything? Just like the scripture said, it says, become intimate with him and in whatever you do and he will lead you wherever you go. So with that, that's just an encouragement for me, myself, and, you know, for all of us, just not just in the morning, but throughout the day, just taking time to just, you know, listen and, you know, to ask him, like, Lord, like, hey, what do I do with this? You know, if we run into a situation, I'm like, how do you want me to handle this? It's just seeking him and everything and being intimate with him and everything. That's a life of worship um, and relationship with the Lord. So I just encourage us all to continue to keep first things first. Uh -huh.